Hello everyone. Welcome to the Analytics Mastery Club. In the last video, we learned what is analytics and different types of analytics. Objective of this session is to explain how analytics is classified, basis, type of solutions and business problems solved by it. Six most important classifications of analytics are as follows. Firstly, Customer Analytics Customer analytics is analysis of customer transaction and customer behavior to identify, attract and retain most profitable customers. Customer analytics also involves segmentation of customers into different category and finding customer lifetime value. For example, transaction done by customer on Amazon is analyzed to determine most loyal and profitable customers. Based on customer purchase, Amazon suggests next best product to that customer. Secondly, Sales Analytics Sales Analytics is analysis of data to track how your sales process and representatives are performing. For example, Sales Analytics involves tracking number customers visited and converted value per conversion, upselling and cross-selling done to customers. Moving on, the third classification of analytics is marketing analytics. Marketing analytics involves the technologies and processes marketers and brand managers use to evaluate the success and value of their efforts. Marketing analytics uses various matrices to measure the performance of marketing initiatives. For example, marketing manager of Coca-Cola launches some campaign. He will analyze number of customers who purchased his product and channel through which he purchased. Fourthly, supply chain analytics. Supply chain analytics is the use of data in the design, planning and management of the supply chain. An important goal of supply chain analytics is to improve forecasting and efficiency and be more responsive to customer needs. For example, forecasting of sales done in supermarket involves use of supply chain analytics. Fifth, risk management and analytics. Risk analytics is the review of the risks associated with a particular event or action. The risk management process involves identify risks are associated with individuals estimating potential financial loss and mitigation of those risks. For example, while lending home loan or credit card, bank analyze risk associated with lending to customers and based on risk assessment final decision of lending is done. Finally, HR analytics. HR analytics use of employee data to make better decisions about workforces and improve their operational performance. HR analytics involves finding right candidate, forecast workforce requirement and predicting attrition of employee. For example, Cisco uses HR analytics to predict attrition of its employees. This helps Cisco HR to take preventive measures which helps in retention of good performing employees. So friends, now since you have learned different types of analytics, in next session we will learn in deep about customer analytics and how it can help managers to improve customer profitability. Thank you.